I have so many feelings and I'm being told so much and honestly what I think I need is therapy but I don't have money for therapy <laughs> so I'm gonna be trying chat GPT ever wondered what it's like to have a private conversation with an AI today I'm breaking down the walls and sharing an unfiltered chat with chat GPT stay tuned to see how this AI is helping me navigate life as a content creator in New York City does that fit the vibe you're going for yeah all right, really quick, before we get into the AI therapy session, I left this morning in a white t-shirt and black shorts, and you won't believe how many people I saw wearing that exact same outfit. It makes me question reality. Are we in a simulation? I don't know. But this morning, I went to Central Park with a lot of friends. We had a great time in the sun, and after that, I went to go see my partner and his mom, and we went to a bakery where they got me a cookie. I've been completely overwhelmed this last week and haven't really had time Time to process a lot of feelings I've been feeling so I decided to take some time and actually walk home instead of taking a bike or the train and sit down and maybe have a conversation with an AI about what I'm feeling. Sam bought me a cookie. Pretty happy about that. I'm so confused with myself right now. I don't know why I'm feeling so terrible. I just, I feel like I should have had such a great week. I should feel like so motivated. I should feel inspired. I should feel so completely different than how I'm feeling right now. And it's just not, it's just not the truth. It's just not how it is for me. And that's confusing. This honestly isn't even like the right space to be talking about this because I'm on the street. I'm just like, I'm walking home. I don't want to take the subway. I don't want to take a bike. I don't want to like speed things up to get home. I want to like take my time to like process feelings and like the emotions I'm having and like, I don't know. I just want to stop and talk. I, I wasn't planning on making a video like this today, but like when I started recording the video today, it just didn't feel right because I, I don't know what I want to make. Everybody that I'm talking to about this is is uh, telling me not what I want to hear. <laughs> what I'm going to for is too small and that it's not going to work and that I need to think about, I have to make a different plan, I have to do something different, I'm not doing it right, I'm undereducated, I'm not executing properly and it's all stuff that I I feel and I tell myself like I I have so many feelings and I'm being told so much and honestly what I think I need is therapy but I don't have money for therapy <laughs> so I'm gonna be trying chat GPT do you think that chat GPT can be a good therapist I'm gonna have a session Something amazing about ChatGPT is that you could just talk to it with your voice and basically have a conversation and it could feel like a phone call. So I'm gonna try this out uh, because I feel like I need to do something different. Analytical and focused opinions and like ways to process how I'm feeling and what I'm going through rather than um, hearing about what I need to change and I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I just think that I need, a, I need a little bit of therapy and this is maybe the easiest way for me to do it because I, I don't have access to um, a therapist, a real therapist. So we're gonna be trying this. So I'm just gonna hit the little headphone button down here and we're gonna be talking to ChatGPT as therapy. Hey, my name is Christian and I'm looking for some therapy. to hear that you're in need of therapy. Are you looking for recommendations for a therapist or just some advice on where to start? Honestly, if you could give me some advice. Of course. What kind of support are you looking for? Do you need help finding a therapist or are you looking for resources to explore on your own? Could you be my therapist in a way where you just help me process my thoughts and give me some advice towards a direction? 
Sure, Christian. I can help you process your thoughts and give some advice. What's on your mind? Honestly, I have been having a lot of feelings lately about the future of my career and what I'm doing. Um, for more information, I am a content creator. I make videos on YouTube and I've been doing a lot of freelance work here in New York City where I live. And there's a lot of pressure here to make a certain amount of money. There's a lot of pressure to just stay here. There's a lot um, on the line for me because I want to live and stay in New York City. I think that it's one of the most incredible cities that I've ever lived in. And the problem I'm having right now is I, I am having a problem identifying how to get people interested in what I'm doing here in the city and how to build my own career in the city. It sounds like you're juggling a lot of pressure and uncertainty, Christian. It's great that you love New York City and want to stay. Building a career as a content creator can definitely come with its own unique challenges. Have you thought about what makes your content unique? or what specific niche you might want to focus on. Sometimes honing in on a particular angle can help attract a dedicated audience. What are some of the themes or topics that excite you the most in your work? Okay, right off the bat, I paused. Just that is incredible that it wants to chat with me and talk to me, and it actually it like pulls information and tries to understand where I'm coming from. That's incredible. So I'm a content creator and my niche is within content creators in the city. Um, I'm focused on like artists and the people that are making some of the most incredible things here. And basically what I want to keep doing is documenting these creators and pushing, uh, trying to uh, showcase them as they're upcoming and as they're developing their own art and de developing their own channels. I want to be a part of it in some way where I'm supporting them and along with that I honestly just want to be a vlogger. I want to be sh showcasing that lifestyle that I've always dreamed of having and I just want to be living an exciting life I guess and sharing that online and um, honestly the biggest roadblock to that feels like it's money uh, because I. I'm honestly struggling financially to keep myself up and I'm starting a job as a barista again soon and it's it's been it's probably one of the biggest struggles that people go through here in the city but it's definitely one that I'm going through right now and it's hard to find support on the career I want when there's no real proof that I can get there sounds like you have a clear passion and vision for your work, which is fantastic. Financial struggles can definitely be a significant barrier, especially in a place like New York City. Starting a job as a barista can provide some stability while you continue to pursue your creative goals. One thing that might help is to look for ways to combine your barista job with your content creation. Maybe you can document your experiences and the people you meet at the coffee shop tying it into your overall theme of supporting and showcasing creators. Also, leveraging platforms like Patreon or Ko-fi might provide some additional financial support from fans who appreciate your work. Have you thought about collaborating with other creators to widen your audience? Building a network and cross-promoting each other can help both you and your subjects gain more visibility. Yeah, I've definitely thought about that. And I have been able to collaborate with some incredible creators here in the city. I think that making content off of a barista job can be challenging because you, honestly, if you're there as a barista, you're not necessarily allowed to be there and film and talk to customers while you're working or at least while you're on the clock. And I'll specifically be a lead barista, so I'll be in charge of making sure everything else is running smoothly. So I'm not sure exactly how much time I'll have to just talk with customers as they come in. And especially with documenting my job, I'm not sure how the owner will feel about that. And I, I think that there's a certain level of privacy that they expect 
while I'm working and focus. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Balancing a demanding job with your creative pursuits can be tricky, especially with the added responsibilities of being a lead barista. Privacy and professionalism are important, and you wouldn't want to risk your job by filming without permission. Maybe you could focus on capturing your experiences outside of work. You could document your journey of balancing a day job with your creative goals, showing the behind the scenes of how you make it all work. Sharing your struggles and triumphs can make your content relatable and inspiring to others who are in a similar situation. Another idea could be to use your job as a networking opportunity. You might meet interesting people who could become part of your content later on, outside of work hours. This way, you keep your job and respect its boundaries while still feeding your content creation. Does that sound like something that could work for you? Honestly, I'm not sure, but I think that that might be a good place to start. How would you... Hmm. It's definitely a starting point, and sometimes that's the most important step. You can always adjust and refine your approach as you go along. Have you, have you thought about setting small, achievable goals for your content creation while you get settled into your barista job? This way, you can make progress without feeling overwhelmed. I think that I've had the same goal for a while now and it isn't to increase like the watch time on my channel. I want people to watch the full videos, but I struggle to keep their attention for even the first 10 seconds of the video. Increasing watch time can be challenging, but focusing on the first few seconds of your videos is a good strategy. Have you tried starting your videos with a strong hook or intriguing question to grab viewers' attention right away? You could also experiment with different styles of intros to see what resonates best with your audience. Have you noticed any patterns in the videos where viewers stick around longer? Yes. The thing is, is I find doing a hook to be a little disingenuous and I want my vlogs to feel a little bit more real. Do you have... I understand wanting to keep your content authentic. A strong hook doesn't have to be clickbait or feel disingenuous. It can be as simple as starting with an interesting moment, a compelling snippet of your day, or a thought-provoking question related to your vlog's content. This can draw viewers in while staying true to your style. Have you tried starting your videos with a compelling part of your day or a meaningful moment to see if that helps retain viewers? Honestly, this might be the most compelling part of today. I am actually... yeah. Sometimes, the most genuine moments can resonate the most with your audience. Sharing your thoughts and struggles openly can create a strong connection with your viewers. Maybe discussing your challenges with balancing your barista job and your creative pursuits could be an engaging topic for a vlog. It shows the real-life aspects of your journey and can be very relatable. What do you think? I struggle to gain the confidence to record my daily life. I do have a separate question for you though, related to creating a strong hook. I've been recording this whole conversation for my YouTube channel just because I want to showcase that ChatGPT is kind of incredible and there's so many use cases and being a place where I could just talk about my thoughts privately without having to introduce anybody else, that's kind of incredible and I wanted to share that. Um, if you were to create a hook for this video that I'm filming right now, what would your hook be? That's a great idea to showcase the versatility of ChatGPT. For a hook, you could start with something like, Ever wondered what it's like to have a private conversation with an AI? Today, I'm breaking down the walls and sharing an unfiltered chat with ChatGPT. Stay tuned to see how this AI is helping me navigate life as a content creator in New York City. Does that fit the vibe you're going for? Yeah. Great. That should help grab viewers' attention right from the start. If you need any more help with your content or have any other questions, feel free to ask. Thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. 
Um, and then that, that whole thing is transcribed so I can look back on it. I guess, honestly, that's made me feel way better than I was just a few moments ago, which is crazy because would you ever expect talking to an AI to make you feel emotionally supported and make you feel better? I think I wouldn't really expect it out of the go, but like doing it, it makes sense because it's just, it's a private relayed conversation where you could just talk about whatever and then you, you get responses back that just make sense. I think that the people in my life, like Sam that's given me a cookie, look at this cookie. That cookie looks incredible. The people in my life like Sam, who are giving me um, support in ways like getting me a cookie when he knows that I'm feeling confused and bad on a certain day. I'm gonna try this. That's definitely healing. Oh my God, that's a good cookie. All in steam. Wow. Something like this and having somebody like Sam to go to is so special to me. But it is crazy how far AI has come and just, you know, language models <laughs> in general. It's really interesting. So if you haven't tried talking to Jeff GPT about it, that's completely free. But um, I think it's great because it, it's harder and harder to find people to talk to privately. And I definitely feel embarrassed about a lot of my struggles because who cares about somebody who has to work a barista job to support themselves while they're growing their own thing? And who cares about somebody who just wants to grow a YouTube channel so then they can make money so then they can live an amazing life? Honestly, there's a lot more to it than that, and there's a lot more that I could share, but I honestly feel really vulnerable at the moment just sharing what I've what I've already talked about. I feel really stupid uh, for for this last for this last week and feeling like you know gaining 10,000 subscribers isn't enough and like. I just keep telling myself like, oh, there's there's new subscribers, but they're not gonna help me get to the end point because they're subscribing to the channel off of uh, videos that aren't what I want to keep doing necessarily. They're not true to me in a way, but they're still true to what I wanna pursue, which is something that I should be excited about. These are really complicated feelings that maybe an AI wouldn't even understand because I don't understand how I'm feeling. I just feel like I got to keep going and I got to keep uploading and I got to keep making videos uh, no matter what state I'm in and eventually I'm going to find the right people. My struggles are definitely not the biggest struggles in the world and I acknowledge that fully. It's just... The, these emotional feelings over what I want to pursue and how I want to pursue it authentically and I want to pursue it as me and I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing to get subscribers is something that means a lot to me and hopefully means a lot to you. So those are my feelings. This is a video that, you know, I might delete because I, I don't, I feel very vulnerable sharing these feelings and I don't think everybody's going to care um, and that's okay because this, this doesn't really matter I have bigger problems in my life there are bigger problems in the world <laughs> and I'm not ready to share more at the moment but uh, if you can relate in any way to how I'm feeling I'd love to hear it and uh, yeah maybe seek a real therapist but if you if you're like me and you can't then ChatGPT might help you out, at least the first time. I'm gonna enjoy my cookie, and I'm gonna walk home.
so many complicated feelings. There is one more thing that I want to do because of today's topic and I guess because a lot of YouTubers that I really liked to watch did it as well. I want to leave some sort of motivation or inspiration with you guys at the end of each video. I'm not exactly sure what I want to say at the end yet. There are catchphrases that I could come up with, but uh, today I figure that I'll just have ChatGPT give you one. So based off of today's chat, can you give me an inspirational quote to leave at the end of the YouTube video? Embrace the journey, even when it takes unexpected turns. Every challenge is an opportunity for growth. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching the video. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, next week. I post every, like once or twice every single week. And uh, there's a lot more short form content coming. Leave a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join the journey. I'll see you.